Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and thank you for taking the time to take a look at this video. You know, what I'd like to do is spend just a couple of moments and talk about open pocket machining on a solid model. In fact, let's perform the open pocket machining on a solid works file. Up here at the top, you can see we have an SLD PRT file loaded, and we're going to perform open pocket machining. Well, what prompted me to make this video is over the weekend, I was curious to see what it takes for other cam systems, uh, specifically the ones that run inside of SOLIDWORKS, what it's like to perform just a real simple open pocket operation. And I was surprised, so I thought, you know what, I think it'd be good if we went ahead and created a video and show you what it's like to perform open pocket machining outside of SOLIDWORKS using 1CNC and just how simple it is. Okay, so first of all, here's our part. I'm going to just change to a top view here. So we're going to need to tell 1CNC which pocket we want to machine. So all I'm going to do is just create a little boundary around there. So let's head up here to rectangle and I'm just going to sketch a rectangle like that. And you know what? Let's do the same thing over here in this upper right hand corner. We have an open pocket for this as well. We can always come back and modify the boundary if we want, but that's it. That's all we need to do. We don't have to go in and select the floor of the pocket, select the edges of the pocket, determine which edges are open and so on and so forth. All we need to do is just create a boundary around it. Very, very straightforward and easy. Okay, so let's apply the toolpath and see what's involved with that. Well, let's head over here to our model toolpath. Let's go to Z level rough. And I already have a tool selected. I'm happy with the speeds and feeds. There's our solid model inside of our dialog box, which is really nice with our dynamic level planes here. In fact, you can see if we put in different values for our clearance, all this is dynamic. I'm going to change my clearance plane to half inch. We'll click next on that. High speed open pockets, what I want. I'm going to plunge because we're going to be starting on the outside. I already have my depth of cut, going to leave 20 thousandths on there. And I'm going to use boundary type picked because we created those little rectangles. Really simple, boundary type picked, we'll click finish, going to left click the boundary and right click and that's it. Let's do the same thing over here. We're going to go back into Z level rough and I'm just going to blast through these. I'm quite happy with the values I have in there. Grab the rectangle and that's it. There's the tool path. Okay, again, I didn't have to select edges. I didn't have to determine which edges were open, which edges were closed. I didn't have to digitize the bottom of the bottom face of the pocket or the top face. I didn't have to do any of that. All I needed to do is just have my original SOLIDWORKS part file here and a couple of boundaries and go right into applying toolpath. All right, let's simulate this. We're going to use stock model because I created some stock a little earlier. And here's our 1CNC active cut, high speed toolpath, starting from the outside and moving in. And here we go. Here's our, our cuts. And again, this is the active cut high speed machining. We can turn the back plot off if we want to, and we can speed this up a little bit. We can even make our toolpath even more efficient by adjusting the boundary we had created a little bit earlier. And that's simple. In fact, in this case, all I'm going to do is just sketch a couple of lines. And let's uh, trim that out using the good old X shortcut. And we're going to right click and repick path. I don't have to keep heading over to the left, going into some cam tree. I mean, this is just real simple approach to getting the job done. And there we go. Now if we were to simulate this, let's use that stock model again and zoom in. Now the toolpath is restricted to that boundary. It knows it's outside machining, has to start from the outside and work in. High speed active cut machining, didn't have to designate any open edges, closed edges, top, bottom and so on. All I had to do was go in there and apply the toolpath. All right. Hey, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I want to make more of these videos to demonstrate how easy, fast, and what a nice direct approach 1CNC provides in regards to machining SOLIDWORKS files. If you're interested in learning more about 1CNC and how you can apply toolpath, quickly, easily, and efficiently to your SOLIDWORKS files or any solid model, please contact us at area code 909-931-7811. Thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.